I know a lot of you out there that have the Ford F-150 or a different Ford. A lot of the vehicles are kind of moving towards this whole uh, auto start stop thing and a lot of people just hate it. And as soon as they get in the car, they hit that button to shut it off. But the truth be told, it does help save a lot of gas mileage if you are driving in the city and doing a lot of starting and stopping. If you're doing a lot of highway driving, it's really not going to make that big of a difference because it's really not going to be functioning that well. But for the people that do want to use it, there are some reasons why it will not work. Like for me, I usually have a camper on the back or a trailer connected. And that is actually one of the reasons why your auto start stop thing is pretty much disabled. So here's a list of 15 reasons why your auto start stop will not work. Number one, just low temperatures outside. Number two, going to be your engine is still cold or your coolant is still too cold. Number three is your AC is on. And number four is going to be if your battery charge is low. Number five, if you have too many starts and stops consecutively, like in a row, it will not kick in. Uh, number six is going to be if your window defrost is on. Number seven is going to be if you're on a steep grade, it will not kick in if you're going to be on a hill. Number eight will be if you're above 11,000 feet, that will sometimes disable your auto start stop. Number nine is going to be if, again, if you have a trailer connected like I do, if you have a trailer connected into the trailer hitch there, that will disable it. Number 10 is going to be if you're driving in four-wheel high or four-wheel low. Number 11 is going to be also if you're driving in a manual mode, that will also disable it. Number 12 is going to be if you're driving with your door open, that will disable it. And number 13 will be if you have a low brake vacuum. Number 14 will be if you have your steering wheel pretty much turned one way all the way or the other, your wheels will be going to be turned. It's going to kind of think you're making a turn, therefore that will not shut it off. And number 15 is you pretty much have to exceed three miles an hour while the, uh, when you first start the vehicle in order for the uh, start stop to kick in. So there you have it guys, there's your 15 ways that your auto start stop is not working. So if you're not, if it's not kicking in for you or for some reason, it might be one of those issues. There are some other ones that I've seen out there, but those are kind of the main ones. So if you are wanting to use your start stop, then, uh, and it's not working, check out one of those things and make sure it's not one of those. And otherwise, uh, take it to the dealership and see what they can do for you. Make sure to subscribe for more tips out there and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.